Welcome back to Some Simple Gaming. My name is Someone Die. Today we'll be playing something on Inch.io and we are with the 5 Minute Itch. I play game, I play a game in the browser for 5 minutes. Y'all are going to vote yes or no if y'all want to see me play it again. And we're just going to look and I'm actually, I'm looking around. There's so many different games on here. And yeah, they, they look like a... Uh, cheap stupid games mm -hmm. they are but uh, these people not developers these people literally freaking make these games and it's their idea and you know it's either gonna suck or it's gonna be good so uh what is this what gecko redemption what the fuck <laughs> what the Gecko, you like sport, you stick to stuff you collect balls you assassin you shoot what the fuck uh Support my new goal. Learn how you can make your own game on Unity. Last time we played Rush Team, that was actually a pretty fun little game. Um, what is this? Uh, Hordes IO. Looks like you are. You just spin around and kill people. Hordes IO is a 3D MO that can be played on your browser. Play as a healer, tank, or DPS classes and battle against the other players all right click create character does it show what each one of these things are warrior courage increased defense buff mage archer and shaman soul harvest increased damage at higher spell levels we're gonna go with mage let's go with mage okay okay what is this mm. I don't know what these mean. We're going to go with this one. Vanguard. That's Bloodlust, Vanguard. Let's go Blood Vanguard. We're going to go with some one die. Enter world. All right. What are we getting? What are we getting our stuff into here? Whoa, 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 whoa. To prepare you for combat, I will explain. This is unit frame. You can see your own health and mana here. All right. Move forward and find a monster, then target it by clicking tab. Alright, tab. This is, monster is now your target. Any spells you cast will be directed at your target. One. All I got is freeze. There we go. I helped somebody kill somebody. What? This is huge. There's a tree that's not really made up. We got a map. Okay. Oh, help. Ow! Ow! He's killing me. Help! This little thing's killing me! Thank you! Should I level up? I feel like I should have leveled up. 
Nice job. You have been awarded with experience points. Collect enough experience points and you will level up. Press shift to see items and coins on the ground. Wait a bit. I see 6C over there. What's that? What's 6C over there? Oh, that's money. I'm taking it. Oh, that's a big spider. Oh my god, what's that? Oh, that's a dude. Okay. Brown twig. There's money over here, too. How do I pick it up? Nigga, how do I pick shit up? Uh, eh, no. Why you aggro? Why you aggro on me? Don't aggro on me. I didn't do nothing to you. He's aggro on me. He's coming. He's coming. Damn it. Get away from me. It's not letting me. I'm literally pressing shift. And it's not letting me do shit. Alright, you have picked up an atom. Open your inventory B to see it. I'm not. Get away from me. I'll kill them. Here you can see atoms. The inventory size depends on the bag you have equipped. You equipped an atom. You can equip items by clicking them and click them to equip. Alright. Open your character panel C. Oh, wow. You can see all equipped items in your character panel. All right. You have your swords. You have look, all kinds of different armors. Hey. This guy just coming up in here and shit. Mm, bitch, go away. All right. Um, you can see all the equipped. All right. Stat point, strength, luck. Oh wow, what was that? Okay, <laughs> uh, strength, stamina, dexterity, intelligence, wisdom. Mm -hmm. Stats points can be found to increase primary stats. Let's go with strength. Next, we will teach you how to learn new skills. First, level up to level 3 to unlock a new skill. 10 4. Ow! Get away from me. All right.
You didn't stand a chance, sucker. New skill is available. You need 32 coins for your first book. You can sell items at the trader. Uh, can we use that? Is that a thing? Can we use it? No, I need monies. Alright, you have enough coins, go back to your base and talk to the trader. Where's the trader at? These idiots. I'm gonna get up there and jump. Alright, where's my trader at? Trader! That's blacksmith. Sage? Birded minds are filled with opinions of plenty. A cup can be quite useful if first found empty. How may I help you on your path toward enlightenment? No, I don't need to do that. There it is, trader. Alright, hey guy. Welcome to the best goods around you aren't going to find a better deal than what I have for you however I hear that there is a special shop with fantastic items unlike anything you've ever seen in the meanwhile I have some spare coins and spare goods would like would you like to sell anything well, let's go ahead and sell this freaking whatever the hell this is all right let's sell that how we do that so go to your base to do Trader. Purple NPC with a backpack to buy. Okay, let's do that. There? Yeah? Okay, so. Show me your wares. Is that how you sell things? I sold something. Alright, about. We will buy this book. Wait, 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 what? what what's wrong with these books? Requires level 5, requires level 3. Chilling Radiance. We bought a book. You have the book. Open your inventory. Right click the book and press learn skill to learn it. How's it? Oh, okay. Close the trader window, then open your skill panel to see an overview of your skills. Gotcha. I have that. Use item. Chilling radiance. 
So that's in number four. Can we place that? There we go. Here you can see your skills. How hover over them for additional information. Skills usually require one skill point, which you earn every two levels. You can click and drag a skill into your skill bar. We already did it for you. You've you have learned a lot. You're almost ready to start your adventure. Hordes is all about working in a party with other players. A party can help you level up. A party of players will share experiences and items, allowing them to progress faster than solo players. You can create it or find a party. Click find a party. You can also invite players. A party invite. Parting will also allow you to share fame points in PvP combat. Players in the other faction can be killed to earn fame points. You can also sell items to other players. Any items you buy on the merchant will be sent to your stash. Bye bye. You will find runes when slaying monsters. Runes allow you to upgrade your items. Visit the blacksmith to do so. Coordination with players is important. Global party faction and clan. Okay. Press enter. Love letter to the world. Bam. See the cogwheel in the upper right corner? Open your game settings. You can change many things here, such as controls, language, or reducing the graphics. Oh, and my fucking tooth is killing me right now. Tooth is like I can't even do my video. My tooth is hurting so bad. <clears throat> Jeez. <clears throat> I don't want to reduce graphics. All right, close the settings again. That's it. You did it. You're ready to slay. Your faction depends on you. Good luck, champion. So this game is free. This is pretty in-depth. I mean, this is a, a browser game. You can press, you know, F11, go full screen with it. And it's not the best of graphics. I mean, look at them. We're little fucking squares. Like, what are you doing? Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? I'll help you. Well,
Thank you. I love you. Are you going with you? Am I going with you? What you what's going on? Why can't I grab those? Oh, help. Help me. Alright, guys. If you like the video on the five-minute itch, let me know what you think. And if you want to see, keep seeing me play itch.io games, just drop a comment down below. Until next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Me, can I get that money? So, can I just like go around stealing other people's money? No? Is that a football? Looks like a football. <laughs>